Displacement mapping settings are available with the same method that we used earlier to alter the strength and scale or height settings. Let's try this with a texture that already exists in the exercise file for this chapter, which is exercise 13. Let's open the exercise file and go to saved view 1. Render with final quality render works. And I say render with final quality render works because OpenGL, which otherwise might be acceptable as a rendering, does not display the bump shaders. So if we want to see the impact of bump shaders, we need to use one of the render works methods. So again, let's render with final quality render works. Take a close look at the white brick floor and let's note the settings that currently exist in the texture. The bump shader type is image and it's set to a bump strength of 600%. And so the rendering looks like this. Now let's alter the white brick texture. In the resource manager, go to the file browser pane, which is the left hand column, and select the exercise file. And now let's click on the resource type drop down box up above and select RenderWorks textures. In the resource viewer pane, we will right click on the white brick texture and select edit. And now click on the bump shader type edit button. And in the displacement mapping area, let's make the following settings. Height, half inch or 13 millimeters. And detail, high. Now it's important to understand that when height is set above 0%, the bump strength setting above it is ignored. So it's one or the other. So in this particular case, we're setting it to 13 millimeters or half inch. So the settings that are above it, the 600% setting is ignored. Now click OK to close the Edit Image Bump dialog box and click OK one more time to close the Edit Texture dialog box. And let's render in final quality render works. Now you'll notice that the white bricks have a much more pronounced three-dimensional appearance and you can really see this along the edges of the slab against the green background. Now we can experiment with different settings. For example, we can change the height setting and we can select the self-shadowing checkbox and then re-render and uh, take a look at, at what happens when you alter all these settings because it can make a pretty dramatic difference in the appearance of the object that has this texture. Displacement mapping can be used with any of the bump shader types and it's worth experimenting as I mentioned with different settings and comparing them to the simple strength and scale settings that we used earlier. And don't forget that these simpler settings only take hold when the displacement height is set to zero. But when you set the displacement height to any number above zero then the simpler settings strength and scale are ignored.